The stupidity of this man angered him. God damn this crazy to hell. His heavy Spanish anger was rising out of his usual calm and good temper. In a little while, it would blind him. Now, uh, this is a line or a series of lines from Ernest Hemingway's novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls. It's a pretty good example, a pretty good uh, description of extreme and sort of possessing anger, the kind of anger that takes a hold of you and makes you lose it. Uh, and it's just, the onset is just starting. Um, how would that passage be interpreted by, say, uh, a Spaniard? How would it be interpreted by, say, an Englishman or an American of waspish uh, tendencies? How would that passage be interpreted by someone who had anger issues? How would that passage be interpreted by someone who we might disparagingly refer to as politically correct. Hmm. Um, there's any number of ways to look at this passage, and there's any number of filters through which to see it. I don't really mind the way that some atheists, or atheists in general, see the universe, see life, existence, whatever, and I don't really mind the way theists see things. But I think that the titles themselves, first of all, make you see through filters, uh, make you impose biases on things, just by virtue of having accepted these titles, i.e. atheist, theist. Um, and furthermore, uh, they can have, as I said in the case of uh, the political, politically correct, uh, our hypothetical politically correct person, they can make you sort of recoil in revulsion or get a bit um, repelled by something. And uh, again, that's a bit of a block to understanding as well. Um, an open mind is an open mind. And isms, if you ask me, tend to block our ability to perceive things, tend to block our ability to speculate and go beyond uh, what our particular ism is. Atheism, theism, you can say Christianity, materialism, whatever. Now, we can actually talk about things like theism, atheism, um, communism, botulism, um, Christianity, Rosicrucianism, um, whatever. We can talk about these things. But once we say, I am a something or other ist, or I am a, an adherent of this ism, or of this idea of Islam, or of, uh, um, I don't know, uh, I'm an adherent of a particular sports team, it has an effect on our thinking. And that's why, as I say, I have strong atheist tendencies. I don't want to think of myself as an atheist because it is sort of blinkering my thinking in a way that I'm not entirely comfortable with. Um, and not only that, it sort of loads you down with all kinds of assumptions and all kinds of baggage that is not as easily shed as one might think, and especially when you're trying to communicate with other people. Talking about theism is one thing. Talking about atheism is one thing. Talking about, I am an atheist, or telling someone that I'm an atheist, say, um, that immediately fills their head with ideas as to what I believe that may not be correct at all. And you can spend uh, so much time um, debunking the person's inadvertent straw man of you at the very beginning that it's nearly impossible to discuss the 
meat and potatoes of what it is you're attempting to discuss. So, just because I say that I'm not an atheist, it doesn't mean that I believe in God. And just because I say I'm not a theist, um, it doesn't uh, mean that I automatically subscribe to everybody's notion of atheism. It's, um, it's not an easy thing to break free of, especially in terms of uh, attempts at discussing things or attempts at distilling uh, what we believe into a few words, or what we subscribe to in a few words. You can say, I'm an atheist, I'm a, uh, I'm a Catholic, or uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a fan of um, my favorite show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, whatever, you know, that's sarcasm, by the way. Um, and it has enormous baggage, whether we like it or not. And I think that titles can be useful to a certain point, but I think that we have to beware of what they may actually be doing whenever we employ them. Um, just because I say I'm not an atheist, it doesn't follow um, that one can assume a whole bunch of other stuff uh, to automatically flow from that. Things ain't that simple. Thank you.